scrum scenes. This is what DD Suisa learners will walk into on their first day of school. Broken ceilings, no lights and walls have been destroyed. The suspects entered through the roofs of 15 classrooms and stole copper cables and taps. Teachers fear this will affect schooling. It's frustrating, Kim. First of all, we were called by the security company to come to school because they, they saw that there are perpetrators inside, but they couldn't get in because the, lock, the gates were locked. It's easy for thieves to access the school and the animals, as you can see. Now 15 classes are without electricity now. It's frustrating. They broke the roofs, they broke the ceilings to get in. They took everything. They took all the wires in the classrooms. The school fence has also been stolen in bits and pieces over the past year, making the school a prime spot for criminals to take advantage. Class windows have been welded so that criminals cannot enter. SGP. And as the member of the SGB, I do not feel right because the kids here in this school are not in a secured learning environment. Secondly, our kids and teachers are not safe. Anyone can come in the school premises and harm the children. We are pleading for help to the Department of Education. I fear for the kids' safety. For instance, not too long ago, people broke into the schoolyard and stole taps. Kids are not going to be able to focus because the roof in the classrooms have been damaged and the taps have been stolen. These circumstances will make it very difficult for the kids to learn. Neighbourhood Watch and the police are working hand in hand to help catch the criminals. On the eighth hour, we received the hint. After we received the hint, we really went to the guy or the gentleman who have done all of this. We really went to them. We saw all the stuff, like plenty of stuff, lights, uh, some cablings and so forth. Quite a lot of stuff from the perpetrators. We took all the stuff and then we tried to ask them, who were your friends? What are you doing this with who? And so forth, you know what I mean? And then they tried to told us who they are, colleagues, who are they working with. We even, we work at, uh, up until maybe 12th hour last night. We've managed to detain one and the three, they are still on the run. The school staff, parents and community members have done their best to try and tidy up the mess left by the suspects. Representatives from the Department of Education met with the deputy principal to navigate a way forward for the school. Kim Daniels, SABC News, Makanda.